What's the one thing you've been avoiding since wearing a CGF? Probably makes sense to start with the day one, first learning, first thing that I tested. And for me, that was a banana. Bananas for me. Oatmeal on its own. Sorbet. Frozen cotton candy grapes. And yes, they are as good as they sound. I've pretty much totally avoided soda. Americanized Chinese food that you'd find in a place like New York City. Raspberry chabella sorbet is one of the greatest things in the world. I would often eat a pasta dish or a dessert and then sit for the rest of the evening. I said to my wife at one point, I eat dinner only so that I can eat sorbet afterwards. For me, it's rice. It spikes me so high. Almost all my zone scores of one and two uh, or three involve rice. Never left the house without a bag of Skittles. And in college, ate peanut M&Ms for dinner more than once. Like a fresh stack of butter mode pancakes. I'm talking like, like a stack. Mm, like five or six, and then maybe second second servings or third servings, and just uh, butter melted on them in between each slice. Pains me to share this one, but it is pad thai. It sends me to the moon every single time. It's a pretty easy answer. It is an everything bagel. As it turns out, Chinese food had probably two to three 3x worse response than really any other food that I've tested, including things like soda and candy. I actually remember texting Josh and arguing with him saying something must be wrong because banana has to be healthy for me. Uh, I think my glucose jumped somewhere in the order of 50 points just off of that one banana. So that was the last time I had a banana. The glucose would skyrocket and I'd see this huge spike and so Really as a test, I thought, all right, I'm going to cut out sorbet for a week and see what happens. I went ahead and removed the bananas from my diet and magically uh, the tired and sluggish feeling that I'd have um, disappeared. So I've made some changes. Uh, instead of ordering weekly, it's now every other week, which is a fair compromise. You can pretty much replace rice with cauliflower rice in almost any recipe I even use it now to make sushi with cauliflower rice and it causes no glucose response. So I love that swap. During my first month of levels, I learned that walking while eating ice cream minimized the huge spike I saw in glucose. So now anytime I eat ice cream in particular, I will take the cone to go on a walk with me. I used to eat oatmeal every day for breakfast. And when I started wearing a level CGM, I found that my glucose would spike like crazy. So now whenever I have oatmeal, I always pair it with some protein, some fat, and then my glucose stays stable.